Yo, what is up guys? Willis back here again, jumping into another After Pulse video, and we are going to be living on the edge here, trying to snipe with the Maverick LA-1 Winter. I do not currently have my controls really set up for sniping, probably something I should have done. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll try the first match with like my quote-unquote default setup. We'll be lucky if we even get a kill here, especially on close quarters camp. Um... Then maybe we'll do another match with uh, our improved gear setup. Seven star SMR 16 Winter. I think I have two five stars of that right now. Definitely something I want to invest more in. Give that a go. So yeah, I'm not really sure what the move is here. We do have the Warfare gear set equipped, so our survivability should be pretty good. Kind of just be hanging out along the edges here, trying to trying to not have that happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just trying to pick up those those longer range shots, you know. Certainly a, a bit of a struggle for the time being. All right, that's a good situation. Let's see. Let's see. Is he gonna pop back out? Ah, dang it! <laughs> he was like strafing. Took me out while he was strafing. You hate to see it, dude. Alright, so we're spawning back over here. Let's check. They might be coming down over here. Yeah, he's definitely back there. Oh, he was right there. He was right there. At least I think that's him. Could be a teammate. I'm not quite sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, he's had an enemy. Nope, not an enemy. That's where it gets a little hard because their names don't always show up right away, you know? Let's see, my volume's a little low right now. So I thought that was an enemy as well. Um, but yeah, volume a little low, so it's kind of hard to hear exactly where they're coming from. Dang, dude, it's impossible to line up. I'm just going to go ahead and switch my controls now. Um, it's going to be fun trying to get it back to a good spot <laughs> when I switch back. Let's try out our secret little spot here. Ooh, it's kind of blocked by this lovely fire. Thought that was an enemy for a second. Alright, I gotta remember shoot button top left. Shoot button top left. I feel like I need to move it over a little more to the left. Kind of like a stretch for my fingers here. Alright, alright. I feel like sniping might be a little bit viable on something like Terminal Station, but close quarters camp, man. It's a, it's a yikes for me. Oh! I was like, I kind of thought we hit him, but then it was like super delayed. I was like, okay, we missed. Dang it, I missed my shoot button twice there. That's my teammate. I missed that one. Keep missing my shoot button. Missed it again, but I don't think I would have hit him anyway. So yeah, it's not impossible. I have gotten killed a couple times by other people using the Maverick LA-1 in the winter mode. Let's see. I'm just going to stay in the scope and give this a go. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, a little bit of Brutal, there's my sixth match of the day, one and six, a lot of, uh, a lot of number sixes here, apparently. So yeah, generally I, I don't think I'm going to be recommending the, the Maverick Winter, um, you know, maybe, oh, we got a blue training handgun, there goes my theory of increased odds when you finish first or something, <laughs> let's claim our 20 gold. Um, yeah, I don't know if the winter would even be good for other game modes, like regular game modes. Maybe, like, I don't know, like that Dread Survival mode. Maybe if you brought a winter weapon to that, you know, if they bring that back in the future. I, I kind of assume they would. You know, if they put in the effort to make it, I would assume they'll bring it back at some point. Um, who knows when. But maybe it'd be, like, kind of just fun to use in that game mode. Like, it might be easier to, to kind of, like spot people or something if you got the the infrared scope on or whatever but 
I mean, I really don't see much of a reason to be rocking the Maverick Winter. If I was going to rock the Maverick, I'd probably pick like the Atom or something. You got that damage boost at long ranges. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Nothing's really coming to mind. So yeah, I don't really see a reason to be building the Maverick Winter. I'm going to do it for the sake of the collection, and we will evolve to the 6-star at the end of this video, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. Probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, we'll see how I do this match on a little bit different of a map here. And obviously there is precision-specific gear, which might help a little bit, depending on exactly how you're playing with it. Um, I'm going to switch this a little bit. Hopefully we don't get disconnected for inactivity, but there we go. Um, it's a little bit more in reach now. Let's see, the good thing about wearing the warfare gear here is that we can survive for a decent amount of time. Uh, I missed my fire button there, but I don't think we really got him anyway. We got one shot off at the end. Did not work out for us. Um, so yeah, we have a decent amount of time for surviving out here. Oh, that was my chance, dude. I think we just clipped the edge of that thing. Oh, we got him in the leg. I was going for that guy back there. I think he's coming around this way. Get ready, get ready. Oh my gosh, he was like one, oh, one HP in a dream. <laughs> so yeah, it's already a, a lot better on a map like Terminal Station here. So, oh baby, we are going to use a... Maverick. Ooh, son of a lime. OG player right there. Maybe you want to make a specific sniping setup if you're getting set up with the Maverick. Alright, that guy would not go down. <laughs> but we got him, we got him. We got that good cold survivability with our gear set, so uh, we're just taking our sweet time running through here. The storm's starting to roll in a little bit. Somebody shooting to my left or something. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Who's that? Looks like he's wearing the UAU 5 helmet. Got that good assault protection. And yeah, I would not recommend taking a rocket launcher secondary if you're going to be <laughs> running with the uh, primary sniper. That is probably not the move. I'd definitely roll with like a handgun or shotgun, something like that. Alright, I think that's an enemy, right? Can't see anything. Hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Hey, there we go, solid headshot. Oh, come on, how did that not get him? Did they nerf the rocket launcher as well? Because, I mean, it's not like bad. It's not, definitely not unusable. But it's just like shots like that, I feel like they should be kills. There we go. There's a solid snipe. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess it really depends a lot on the map for the Maverick here. So I'm actually, I'm feeling pretty good about it here. There we go. I mean, it's killing in one shot pretty consistently. I think that, that one guy earlier, we had him down to like 1 HP, but... I mean, we're hitting, like, body shots, leg shots, getting one-shot kills, so... It's not terrible, man. I might, uh... I might be flip-flopping on my original opinion. Definitely wouldn't make it a priority still, but... I guess it's usable. I was gonna say, if I missed that, dude... <laughs> I thought I missed it for a second, right when I hit the shoot button. There's somebody right back there. Yep, yep, yep. Scope. This is another bug. Sometimes when you scope in, the sensitivity just gets, like, jacked up, dude. It happens with my, my Bobcat Panther a lot, actually. Of all things. Totally thought that was an enemy. But yeah, if you guys don't have motion sickness yet from watching this. Oh, uh, no, we just missed. I'm trying to switch weapons. Took forever. But yeah, I don't know. Feeling a little bit better about it after that. Let's see our score here. 8 and 4, top of the team with the sniper and the rocket launcher. Definitely not complaining too much after that, so I think we'll leave it at that, man. It's kind of. Oh! Specialist crate. I think that's the first one I've gotten.
Holy crap. So it's like guaranteed to be a skinned weapon, right? Of like pretty much any series, basically. And we got a blue training handgun. So it is four to six. Right, let's see what we get, man. I've heard of some people getting like smileys and like crazy stuff out of here. So go ahead and skip that. That's a three star. You can tell by the sound it makes when the uh, crate animation finishes or when you tap to skip it. The, uh, the sound for a one, two, and three star weapon versus a four star and higher weapon is uh, pretty clearly different. That's a five star. Yeah, five star MFX9 Nightcrawler. That'll probably end up in the burners pile. Actually, I'm gonna look that up behind the scenes here real quick. We'll uh, slowly proceed to the evolve here. I think I have a screenshot of this, but I'll grab one just in case. I do have an insane amount of updating to do on the, the wiki, if I'm even gonna still pursue that project. I don't know, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, actually we might hold on to that MFX9 Nightcrawler, because I think I have one six star and one other five star, so that'll be enough to make the seven star. So we'll probably just hold on to that for now. But we do have enough burners otherwise. I've been going through and getting rid of some stuff here. So there's a six star preview at the bottom, uh, sorted by rank. So let me see. Let me see. Yeah, there's the two MFX9 Nightcrawler five stars. I guess we'll hold on to it. It's going to be super low priority, but it's always good to hold on to enough pieces to be able to make the seven star. Maybe we'll pull like another six star in the future and we can then, then we could scrap those five stars, but let's see, AG10 Patriot, M349 Patriot, let's see, now we're moving on to the Tiger Weapons, I'm good with burning one of these guys, I think I was going to burn like the five star AGK37 Tiger, I think it's more towards the bottom, we just need one more here, I think. Yeah, I'm good with burning a far end tiger, so let's go ahead and update my list here. And then we just need the matching five star winter. So yeah, man, I don't know. Overall kind of one line, two line summary here on the Maverick Winter. I think it's good. Seems to be relatively consistent in killing in, in one shot. There are a couple times when you won't get the one shot, one kill. Uh, the damage seems high enough. I mean, like, 38,000 there on the maxed 5-star, so it's, it's definitely a lot of damage. It definitely definitely holds its own as a as a decent sniper, and it's it can be good for maps like Terminal Station with those longer sight lines, but you're obviously going to struggle a bit more on maps like Close Quarters Camp, and if you are rocking it, maybe check out the sniper gear. Um, you know, the, the Warfare gear is probably the way to go for the uh, Winter Warfare game mode. Since you get that long survivability, you can kind of sit and camp in those long sight lines. Uh, so that'll definitely help you out. And then if you do rock a primary sniper, I would recommend not going with a rocket launcher secondary. Like I said, I'd go for something that you can kind of run and gun with or you know at least defend yourself in some really close, uh, close quarters fights. Um, so something like a handgun or a nice shotgun. Uh, we'll just grab a screenshot of the six star here. And yeah, I think uh, I think that pretty much covers it. I don't think it's updated. Is it updated? Is he holding the six star there? Let's see. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I want to see if we change weapons, if it looks any different. I think it's updated. Yeah, I don't know. Looks the same. So I don't know. Um, sometimes when you're, when you're holding a weapon and you evolve it, like it doesn't update until you switch weapons and then go back or something, but, um, whatever. There's the six star. Not bad, man. We'll add it to the collection. Like I said, last video or two videos ago, I think we'll have reviews for every winter weapon at six stars maxed coming up, except for the BTT 50 and the FM Bobcat, which are both Echo class weapons. And. I mean, we just got to pray for good luck to get our hands on those. It seems like it's definitely possible. I see a lot of people rocking the Bobcat out there. I know a handful of you guys have gotten the BTT-50 Winter. Uh, so we'll just pray for the best that we can get our hands on those. But we should have reviews for every other Winter weapon coming up. So definitely stay tuned, man. Be sure to subscribe. And yeah, 
We'll have some gear reviews coming, trying out some different setups. Um, rocket launcher video coming pretty soon. Just got to max out this guy. And uh, we might make a video on the five star before we make the six star video. I don't know. Might as well keep it sequential since we have the four star video out there now. Um, but yeah, different things coming, man. We got the Nox K maxed, working on the DMR, maxing that guy out. We got a six star CQR maxed. Some awesome stuff here, man. So stay tuned. Got to level up that KPK there. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you got recommended setups, if you're building the Maverick Winter, or uh, let me know what your favorite Winter gun is here in the season. So all that good stuff. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.